Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager FM 19 Club 2 episode 18, I believe it is. We're opening <coughs> the closing leg of the season here. We finished uh, fourth in the opening leg with a loss in the opening phase finale. Uh, I've already played one match. Uh, we beat Destroyers 3-1. Fernando Juarez, Alan Siles, Luna Diali, all with goals. Uh, won pretty handily. Uh, but we're coming back for Santos. So Santos uh, is the ultimate club that we would like to take over. They may or may not ever come available, which is fine. But that's the goal. So that's why when we drew them last episode, I was all excited. And yes, we're probably going to get our butts kicked, but that's okay. Uh, now, we are within a week away from trading deadlines, so we do have some transfers to deal with. Wow, look at all that shit. Uh, let's see, transfer history. All right, so we are in July. Uh, let's see. Okay. Hello? 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 Okay. Don't make out with me on camera. <laughs> uh, Cruz Profacio, one of our defensive mids, we sent him on to Mitre for $33,000. Uh, ben Galea, we loaned him out uh, for a 1.1K loan fee per month for the rest of the season to San Jose, who beat us in that uh, finale. Gonzalo Reyes goes out on loan to Estuadantes. Uh, Baron Doge, center back, we move him on to Aurora for potentially $13,500. Uh, a couple of youngsters, Melgar, Quiroga, Gutierrez, Zapata, all go out on loan. Uh, we, we are, I got, I got tons of loan offers. It was insane. Um, I think these guys averaged about 40 offers a player. So uh, they certainly had their pick, but we were negotiating to where they, they were picking up 100% of their salary, uh, whether they played or didn't play. So that's going to get a little bit of salary. Each one's making about $3,700. And then if we come over here, uh, we did bring in Oscar, Oscar Baldemar from Bolivar for $29,000. He's predominantly a right back. He can play left back, which is going to be important. Uh, I'll go over that in a minute. Uh, he's got some pace, three and a half star current. Uh, he can cross okay. Defense is all right. Tackling's pretty good, but pace acceleration and, you know, that's, that's the position that I play out there. So he comes on board, uh, Sergio Villamil from Nacional Potosi for seven thousand. Uh, he's a central mid, defensive mid, uh, yeah, depth, <clears throat> pretty much. A little bit of pace, good decision making, very good passing, tackling technique, first touch. Uh, so he's he's a you know distrib distributor of the ball. So he's not the greatest. He's going to be a bench player. But he's playing a six, seven, eight, and you know, uh, nine appearances uh, already in the league this year. And then Sebastian Reyes from Pari comes on for six thousand. Uh, he is another center back, uh, two and a half star current, three star potential, twenty six year old Bolivian, good jumping reach, six foot three, twelve pace, uh, thirteen heading, marking, tackling. I thought he was an upgrade over Baron Doge, who I got rid of. Picked him up at half the cost. That's a win for us. We do have a couple of... Well, I guess I should have closed all these, but that's all right. Uh, let's close all these real quick. Um, um, oops. Basically, I rejected anybody that wasn't willing to pick up their salary for loans. Damn. All right. Um, I've made an offer on the keeper, Bruno Rivas. Uh, we've got him on loan till the end of the season. He is in the last six months of his contract. So I went ahead and made an offer at about 50% of his value, uh, hoping to pick him up. Uh, Kiroga is another, uh, he's a left uh, fullback. Uh, we may, he's also going to be out of contract in January, so we've made an end-of-term uh, contract for him. 
And Gungora, we've got him on loan. He's also up at the end of uh, the year. So we've made a, uh, he's worth about 20, I don't remember. He's worth about 24,000. So I've come in a little under 50%. So those are the guys there. And then, uh, you know, we've got offers out on freaking everybody. Um, so if we have any more transfers, we'll hit that in the next match. But let's get into Santos. So the green, famous green jersey, uh, they are two to five favorites. We are really outgunned here. I am not expecting a lot. Uh, I think I'm going to go balanced. In fact, I think I'm going to go cautious. And I never do that. I've also changed um, my uh, filter here, you know, because I, I let my coach pick the team. But I set it up, you know, and I mean, I know who the better players are. and uh, But I do have, uh, I did change it from 90% to 80%. So we're going to have a few guys in the 90s and then getting down into the 80s. Uh, Martinez up top, Luna Diali on the right. Um, that is because you can see all the guys we have unregistered, which is fine. We've got a couple of injuries, Fernandez and Gongora. Those are two of our regular starters. That brings Carlos Rivera in. A little weak on the wing on the left side. Uh, I would like to do a little bit better there, but uh, yeah, what are you going to do? Let's see. Uh, Herrera. See, he's playing. He's there, but he's just not. I just don't have anybody that's a natural out there. So anyway, that is what it is. Let's get to it. Uh, we did get a comment about how big the national win was for us, and I agree. Very big win for the club. So uh, it'd be great to pull some kind of upset over Santos here. But all right, just don't let us get beat too bad. <laughs> all right, there's ribs. Well, they got a, their first shots on target. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Who's in trouble? Siles with a yellow. Oh, my God. Allen with his second goal of the season. Maybe I should reconsider that contract offer for uh, for our keeper. <laughs> All right, Ribera. Back to Baltimore. One of our newer players, Luna Diali. Juarez. Oh, don't fart around with it. All right, well, good ball movement. Oh, well, it was good ball movement. Johnny Lucas intercepts the ball, takes it deep. Oh, my God, they should have found the far post there. I think they would have beat the keeper again. Ooh. Well, it looks like we actually had a run into their territory. Yeah, that's really bad when the highlight doesn't even get you across midfield. Oh, Gabriel with a great outstretched save. All right, well, it was on target. I guess we take that. Luna Diali picks up a yellow. Ten fouls in the first 30 minutes. Oh. <laughs> We're right there. I mean, 80%. All right, boys, come on. No, oh, good block, good block. Come on. Uh, encourage. Oh, flipped over the bar. Nice job. Might have been out, I guess. Playing an 8-1. 6-5. I mean, we're not playing horrible. They actually liked the encouraged a little bit. Oh, tackled away. Damn. 
Hooped over to the top, Cayo George. All right. Rodriguez lines the corner in, headed out. Good job. You know what? Crap. I'm going to go attack him. Screw it. Fernando gets a step, knocked away by the defender. Good job. I'm going to say just being down 1 0 at half is not too bad. I mean, we've certainly been outplayed, right? Ah. Uh. Oh my God. They put that ball right in the middle of the box and my your stomach just kind of crawls up into your throat, right? Mine does. Especially in real life, but you know. Thank God this is just a oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god. I can tell you we don't have anybody in our league that can finish like that. Ow crap. Ooh, only eight, well, eight shots, four on target, two goals. And six long shots. If you would have told me before the match, eight shots, six of them are going to be long shots, I probably would have been okay with that, not thinking that we would just get destroyed here. All right, we're going to move over to this. Uh, Juarez mid left. Tell you what, let's drop you back here, and then you can go off for him. Actually, you know what? Let's. Undo that move. Yeah, I'm going to put Mesa in here. All right. And pep talk. Prove a point. Oops. You. Watch your booking. Watch your booking. Now I just, you know, I want to keep it close. I just don't want to get blown off the pitch. Oh, dear God. Off the woodwork, the keeper could not make a play on it. Ugh. There's a yellow, Flores, into Adrian. Oh, nice ball to the outside. Oh, could not get it through the defenders. Counters on Romero on the right flank. I'm actually, <laughs> my guy said, I can run faster than you. But he didn't even try to stop him. All right, good save by Rivas. Let's, uh get creative maybe all right Juarez picked up his yellow I'm gonna go ahead and sub him off all right mid left now Charmoni no Medina there we go all right we'll go that route I gotta remember I already made that sub at halftime. Um all right, I was waiting like I don't think we're paused, guys. Alright, there's the sub. Got a couple of guys into the 72 range. Pereira picks up a yellow. Hmm. 
Whoa, faster. Yep, I have it down. Uh, Ibanez makes great guitars. Didn't know he could also uh, play some football. Oh, what a pass. He just bent it down the line and curled it around my running defenders. Oh, that was beautiful. And that is why when they see Brazilian and South American football, they call it the beautiful game. Because some of the higher level teams can actually play it. <laughs> That's my goal is to get there and be able to manage players like that. <laughs> oh, the yellows are piling up. Six yellows, 23 fouls. He is dead. Um, wow. He could play a wing back right, which I have a right defender. So if I move him up. He's playing slightly out of position. But then we solidify that back line with some fresh legs. Maybe. I mean, two shots, two on target. Ugh. Ronaldinho would have scored from there, I bet. I was watching some Ronaldinho highlights last night. It popped up on my uh, on my feed. God, what a what an incredible player! And you didn't get all the drama that you get with Neymar. Oh yes, Martinez puts us on the scoreboard. Oh, just drifted it past the keeper. Oh, that was nice. I think the keeper was surprised. I think this was, oh yeah, I think this was one of those things kind of like in baseball, right? You know, you're used to facing guys with a hundred mile an hour fastball. And then you have a guy, you know, from like Little League come in and throw it, you know, like 50 miles an hour. And you haven't seen a pitch that slow in, you know, 20 years and you just can't get the timing on it. I think that's what that was. The pat, the, the shot was so slow. He just didn't even know what to do. He just freaked out and was like, oh, crap. <laughs> Three minutes of stoppage time. Uh, you know what? Push forward, boys. Give it a shot. Three shots, three on target, all long shots. We're going to have some suspensions after this match. Oh, uh, look at the, look at the, look at the passing. Oh. Man, if that doesn't give you a feel good, just watching that kind of passing and performance. It's kind of like in England, you know, when you're, you know, not watching like the lower end teams, but, you know, when you're watching the Liverpools and the Arsenals and the Man Shitty and Scum and, you know, when you watch those after you've come up through the lower leagues <laughs> and you're just like, wow, how incredible. No, oh, he tried to kill one of the guys from the other team on the bench. Yeah, well, two to one. We'll call that a moral victory, I'm thinking. Right? Moral victory? I mean, we got drilled. <coughs> I appreciate the effort, though, guys. That was, you know, that was balls out. You know, we scored a goal. Holy crap. Um, I guess let's let's skip Wilsterman. We'll come back for the other Santos. We should be able to get that in this episode. See you back here in a minute. Uh, to transfer window will be closed when we get back. We'll, I've got those couple of bids out, so maybe we'll have some new players. They won't be able to play because they aren't registered, but that's all right. And we'll go over the Wilsterman score. See you guys back in a second. Well, when it rains, it pours. 
interesting end to the transfer window. Um, I had a very, very difficult decision to make. So we'll talk about that real quick. Uh, George Wilsterman, we beat them 4-0. Sadie Flores with a penalty in the 31st minute. Luna Diali, our right winger. And then uh, Julio Herrera, the left winger, with a brace, including a 93rd minute in uh, stoppage time. So we handled that very well. We're back for Santos today. Uh, let's take a look at the transfers and what did and did not happen. Uh, so we moved, uh, we had moved what are these four players, one, two, three, four out on loan. Uh, Mercado, Gutierrez, Garcia, Hermosa, Fernandez, all youngsters. These guys are 16, 17, 18 years old, all out on loan. 100% uh, salary paid, uh, whether they play or not. David Chica really performed for us, especially last season when uh, Sadie Flores was out injured, uh, coming back from international breaks. Uh, but he wasn't great. Wasn't great. So Wilsterman, who we just beat, signed him for uh, upwards of 11500 And George Flores, another youngster out on loan. So Chica's gone. That left us one left back, which was troubling. And so we went out and we picked up uh, Alvaro Quiroga. As soon as I got the bid on him, I was like, you know, I'm going to take it. He's 30 years old. He's a reserve. He's he's solid. He can't cross, though. And you got to be able to cross in this tactic. He played a lot, of, a lot of football and played well. But, you know, limited. So Quiroga comes to us from Potosi, cost us four and a half thousand. So we, you know, we doubled our money on the sale. Uh, he's 28, so a couple of years longer. Younger, he's valued at 12 and a half, and uh, 15 pace acceleration, 10 crossing, 14 tackling, and he's solid in marking and passing. So, I think we upgrade here. Uh, he can play only the left back, not center back, but we've got we've got enough center back. So. All in all, we ended up spending $10,000 this year in buy-ins uh, compared to what we sold. But I, I think we did some good business. So uh, we are back with uh, Santos today. Now, a lot of these new guys can't play uh, because, of course, it's Cup and we've already uh, locked in our, our registration for that. So... Uh, we did set a new attendance record and a new gate receipt record, so that's positive. We made some money. Uh, if we look at the finances, uh, we made we made one hundred and forty seven thousand dollars last month. We're four point seven mil to the good this year. Uh, so, and we're projected to continue to make money. Uh, we're up to five point five almost, so things are looking good. We, we've blown most of our transfer budget, so in, in fairness, I wasn't going to go that overboard, but I felt we wanted to make the run to kind of get back into the cup next year because that's where most of this money came from. I mean, we went from here to here because of that, just because of the uh, Copa Libertadores. So anyway, what do I want to do here? Um... Oh, and the bad part, Martinez, he's injured. Thigh strain, he's out for about six weeks. Our leading goal scorer, 6-13. and 13. Oh, that's gutting. Um, so, if we go with this, that's going to put Sharamoni up top. We're already in a cautious mentality here. Tecarista. He's like, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Yeah, well, that's that's cool. You don't know what an inside forward is either. Um, actually, you know what? If we change these guys to wingers. Hmm. 
he can attack, they'll support, so he'll drop back a little bit. He'll have some overlap. Again, I think, you know, two to one last time, I kind of consider that lucky. We'll probably get annihilated. We're playing at, look at the stadium. It's full. Holy shit. And they've only got one player with a picture. I wonder if that's because it's South America. Pressure's off, guys. Pressure's off. Oh, my God. Look at the people. All right. Could you imagine if Charmoni comes out and displays the goal scoring skill that he had last year and and just light oh my god and lights it up? Did you see the closing speed on that guy? Gee whiz. He like took two steps and was like there. Oh, headed down. Oh, Flores beats him to the ball. Ooh, come on, boys. You look dangerous here in the early going. First shot of the match. They're going to come back and bury us now. You're back. What the hell? Slap you down. <laughs> oh, no, no. Into the wall. Good. Good defense. Come on, boys. Uh, let's encourage them. Sadie Flores picks up a yellow. Not surprised. I mean, yellow, that's kind of our thing. You know, we, we get a billion cards. Landa, our center back. Oh, my God, right on the edge of the box. <sighs> Lucky there wasn't a penalty there, I guess. He certainly looked he was inside the line. How was that not a penalty? Chested down. Uh, he just plays it back towards midfield to open us up a little bit. Oh, shit. That's two games in a row they've had somebody drill one off the crossbar. <laughs> My goalkeeper's got to be losing his mind. It's like, holy shit, how do I stop these? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, turn and lump on a dime. Nice, nice push away by Revis. Good job, fellas. I'm going to praise them here because they're playing playing well through the first 20 minutes. Six to one on shots. I mean, the only thing we're not winning here or competing in is headers. Six out of 11. They're five out of seven. All right, Valdemar. Adrian. Juarez. Oh, Fernandez. You got to turn on that ball and get the shot off. Oh, he let it go through. What a play. Who is that? Baldemar, one of our newer players. What a play. Just to take a step inside and cut the angle. Oh, that was brilliant. <sighs> Allen picks up a yellow. Oh, man. Just wide of the goal. Get creative. Not too creative. Oh, uh, a, a goal here at the at the end would be awesome. Oh, it was at the near post, though he had a shot. So close. Get it in. Get it in. Come on, boys. Oh, no. That was such a nice shot. Nice attempt. Oh, a real opportunity. Damn it. Yep, I appreciate your efforts. Medina. Everybody's playing pretty well some six fives on the front line but 
it's hard to get a rating up when you don't have a lot of opportunities so you can't read everything into ratings all right at least they didn't go down on the kickoff highlight a bruised knee all right we'll sub him off for first excuse me Tell you what, I don't know, off off topic discussion. Um, you guys always see me drinking water, usually in the big gallons. I, I use uh, the Crystal Light powder mix, and uh, I like it. So I bought some Crystal Light, but the uh, the little squeeze bottle with the liquid in it, and uh, God, it's horrible. Just, I don't know what the difference is. Oh, damn it, damn it. All right, let's make a sub here. Adrian. Which one do I want to bring in? Uh, one of the Rivera boys, 1412. Yep, I want to bring him in. It's our box-to-box -box midfielder, but he can, he can pass as well. Sadie Flores. I could put Baldemar on that side. And then Sadie Flores for Oviedo. I mean, the good thing is we're still composed. We're playing okay. I mean, nil-nil draw. I mean, you know. Oh. Just around the horn passing finds the far post. We just don't have the we don't have the agility and the reflexes to to make that. All right, let's push forward. Oh, the wheels have come off. Oh, what the fuck was that? Synchronized? Seriously? Oh, that was a brilliant shot, though. Oh, the synchronized celebration! Fuck you guys, man. <laughs> that was that was sad. That was sad as hell. <laughs> That's just rubbing salt. No, oh, that was brutal. Brutal. All right, it's still a little early, but I got some dead people. Limber Fernandez. Um... Well, shit, do I pull him off and go for more defense, or do I go up top? Fuck it, I'm going to put some fresh legs and more speed up top. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. And I'm going to drop into that tactic. It's just a little different. Just change it up. See if it does anything for us. It's playing a false nine up top instead of the poacher, which is a more natural position for him. But just to make it look a little different, a little bit different movement, just to see what it does, you know. All right, Medina, chest it down. It's a nice one touch there. Fernandez, oh, the run by Oviedo. Cross, cross. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, that was a nice header back up into the attack. Oviedo makes the run again. Good cross. Get it. Shot. Shot. Oh, my God. What happened there? I couldn't tell what happened. Did it hit the woodwork? Did a defender get a leg on it? It, it ricochets out. Oh, my God. Woodwork. I think it was a woodwork.
a half chance. We had a half chance. Dude, you guys are playing great, man. You are playing great against one of the best teams on the continent. Now, don't let them, you know, don't let them drill you here. I mean, 2 nothing. Let's settle down. Kyo George. All right, just run the clock out, boys. Just We'll go home with our tail between our legs, yes, but... You know, I knew coming into this I was going to do both Santos matches. I knew we were likely going to get drilled. But honestly, I think the team played pretty well. 4-1 on aggregate, but still. I mean, we're talking arguably one of the... I mean, they're in the top league on the continent. And they're probably one of the top two or three clubs in the league. So... I don't think we've got anything to hang our head about. I certainly can't get mad at him. No, jump on him. Break his <laughs> break his freaking leg. No, don't do that. We run a classy organization here. We only get a lot of yellow cards because we play hard. We play rough and we play physical. But we don't play dirty. He just kicked it out on purpose. Just to run the clock. That's fair, I guess. All right. I, yeah. Two quick goals. Three-minute brace. Not happy about that. But, you know what? I can't be too disappointed. I don't think. I do appreciate the effort. They did well. Uh, so, so we have lost four to one aggregate, some great wins, five, four over Olympia, a two to one win. The, I think that was the huge win over national. Uh, yeah, I, uh, two to three days. That's good. We pick up a million bucks for playing in the second round. The board is delighted. So a million dollars that puts us up to almost 6.6. .6. So we've got some money. Hello, nice. So that's good. And then if we can somehow get back into the cup next year and get some money for that again, I think that's that's going to be the goal. <coughs> Excuse me. That's going to be the goal, just to try to make the cup to get that that paycheck, you know. And there's nowhere else we can go. We're in the we're in the highest division, so it is what it is. We don't get any money for this, do we? Don't believe there's any. Yep, no. Uh, no money, no placement money. That's too bad. All right, so where do we come back? Um, we can come back at. Uh, we haven't watched a league match, but you know what? Let me get through a chunk of games. Let's come back for Bolivar and Potosi. End of the month. That gives us a good run of games. Uh, see where we're at, and then, uh, you know, we can kind of get into it uh, to finish out the season. Uh, let's just take a quick look at the Job Center. We do have, uh, well, hello. Hello. We have a third division. All right, so third division ranks 11th. We're currently 15th. So this would be a move up, and it would get us into Brazil. Now, they're just insecure. That may be the one I want to keep an eye on. This one's available. Seventh position. Right here. Season preview. So they were recently relegated from second division and they're picked to finish second. And where the, and they're seventh after eleven games. 
They're secure financially. Training and youth are good, which that's important. I think the third division is going to be my way into Brazil more so than anywhere else. Now, he was sacked. I've had a lot of sackings. He's an interim for couple of days now this is another this is a two and I think that would be the way to go because they're 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 probably not going to hire me but only because they are recently relegated they think they're going to be a second division team but you know what Fuck yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna apply for that. All right, well, I'm gonna go play. <laughs> We're gonna see if they even give me a sniff. And they've received it. So they didn't turn it down outright. That's good. So they're two and a half star, and I am one and a half. That's the problem. I don't think they're going to really take me seriously until I get my next license, which I'm studying for now, which that should get me up to that two-star rating. And then a solid finish this year would get me into that two-star rating as well. I think that's, I don't think I'm going to really be up for anything till the end of the season. But I think if I can get into Brazil, I've got to leave now. We're out of the cup. We finished fourth. I've done just about everything I can do here. And I certainly don't mind staying. You know, we could stay, but you know, the goal here is to get to Brazil or Argentina. And the sooner I get to one of those countries, then the easier it will be to move up in those countries, either by promotion or reputation. So knock on wood, we will go for it. Uh, anyway, like I said, we're gonna go off, we're gonna play. A uh, bunch of games here. Uh, I'll come back for Bolivar, Potosi, and uh, we'll see how we're doing at that point. Naturally, if something comes up before then, I will be back with that news and uh, let you guys know. So hit the like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and uh, hey, we'll talk to you next time. Have a good one. Bye.